Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time, as you can see, we have the iPad in front of us and the topic are widgets. Now exactly can you make aesthetic iPad widgets? How can you get some aesthetically looking widgets on your iPad? Now you should know that in case you want to add any new widget, all you have to do is just to hold down on the screen like this and tap on the plus icon in the upper left corner. When you tap on it, it's going to show you a bunch of different stuff and you can browse through the apps which allow you to add widgets. So in case you tap on TikTok, it allows you to have like shortcuts for TikTok or Siri suggestions, depends on what you want. So you can only add widgets from the apps that you have available. In case you wanna add some new aesthetic widgets, you need to have some apps which actually allow you to do it. And there are plenty of apps available on the App Store which you can download that let you customize the home screen with the aesthetic widgets or widgets that you like. Cause aesthetic is a term which is kind of subjective. What you may like is not something what I might like. But for example, you may download the Color Widgets app. I'm gonna explain that one. Or another one is called Widget Smith. For example, this is another app which you can download. Both offer some free as well as paid subscriptions but those apps basically allow you to customize widgets and add them to the home screen by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now Anyways, I'm going to show you how it works with the color widgets. So you open up the app and you, you can see at the top in the green sections, you have widgets that you currently use. So that's good. In this case, you can customize them or add new ones. So for example, I'm going to tap on the first one and I'm going to customize it. You can see it's available in four different sizes and formats. But if I want to make it aesthetic, all I have to do is just to make sure I change the colors. You can see I can make it look as much as I want. I can change the font. Perhaps I like it this way. Make the text white, whatever. Hit set widget and I'm going to replace the first one. So this is going to be the next widget. And now I'm going to come back to the home screen, hold down on it, find the color widget section. And you can see I can add it right to the home screen. So let's say I'm going to add this one. This is what it looks like. And now I have this new aesthetic one, which I have created. So that's an option as well. However, you can also add a new one. So you can see, you can scroll through the widgets which are available, like the widget templates and find something that you consider to be aesthetically good looking. And you can see, for example, this is what it looks like, something aesthetic. Perhaps you're going to click on that. Perhaps this is something that you like. You can see this is what it looks like by default. So you're going to click on a set widget. You're going to set and replace the, the second one right here like this. And now when you hold down on the widget on the home screen, you click on edit the widget. It shows you the option to change it from widget one to widget two. You switch it to widget two. You can see this is a new aesthetic one. And you can see in the app, you can see widget one, widget two. So this one, the second one is aesthetic. The first one is also perhaps aesthetic for you because you want to switch to the first one again, hold down on it, edit widget. It's going to flip over, switch to widget one. When you come back, you have again, the same one right here. So yeah, it's up to you to decide how you want to use it. It's the same principle. Basically you customize something, you make it look the way that you want, perhaps make it more aesthetically pleasing and just add it to the app and add it to the home screen. It doesn't matter if you use this app or any other app. As I told you, you can also use Widget Smith if you like, but the same principle is gonna apply. You basically customize a widget inside of the app and then add it to the home screen to make sure that it looks the way that you want. Of course, you're gonna have to play around with it to find exactly the combination and the look that you are looking for, but this is the technical way how you can go about it. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and content like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.